All right, so we have three point charges, equal uh, charge, all equal, uh, and they're located at different points in the x-axis, negative one, zero, and one. And we want to find a general location x, an equation for a general location x, and then plug it in at five. And what does general location mean? Well, it basically just means you have an equation of like f of x or whatever, and then you have some x da da da. You have some function where you just plug in a value, and then you get a you get a result. That's all it really is. It's nothing fancy. So one thing to notice before we start the you know math part of it is that everything we do is going to be on the x-axis, right? Because our three points and our point of concern all lie on the x-axis, so we can never get, like, we could never have a vector shooting off like this by Coulomb's law, right? Because Coulomb's law says everything goes um, in a direct path, so this is going to go directly in this direction or that direction if there's a vector. Our vector is probably going to look something like this, because, because we're dealing with the we're dealing with positive charge, we're kind of just assuming it's going to be a positive and positive. That's usually how things go. So let's start by getting, we're going to be using this equation three times over for each charge on the x-axis. So let's start with the green one. I'll write this in black. E to equals go to green. Okay. So for this one, charge is going to be 5 nanocoulombs by this right here over 4 pi epsilon naught because we always have the 4 pi epsilon naught and r squared this is where it's a little bit tricky not too bad notice that x would be this distance right this here's our uh, our point of concern so to speak and here's the x-axis so wouldn't we say couldn't we say that this is one unit larger than x because you have to travel one one unit further because this is one right here this is a space of one because this lies at negative one so you have to go one unit further than x to get to your distance and since it's r squared it would look something like this x plus one squared so for the red similarly it'd be five nanocoulombs over 4 pi epsilon naught, because we always use 4 pi epsilon naught. Remember, uh, it says free space. So because it says free space, we can assume epsilon equals epsilon naught. You see this a lot in problems, just to make it a little simpler. Um, and since we're only traveling a distance of x this time, because we don't have this extra 1, it would just simply be x squared. Okay. And lastly... Four or five epsilon naught, and again, now we are one less than x squared, or than than x. So it'd be x minus one squared. But there you go. There's our whole general problem. All we'd have to do for the rest of part A would be uh, to plug in a five, and you will see. Now remember, this is in the positive x direction. I don't really write this, but it's kind of assumed that we know it's in the positive x direction. Five would be, uh, if you plug that in, I'm not going to plug it in, it's not necessary for me to plug it in, but it'll be 5.8 volts per meter. And um, I, I don't really think I need to explain the units to you guys. That's, that's more of something you'd do a proof for, because it'd be coulombs per... Uh, what would it be? It'd be something per coulomb, and then you change that. You could switch that over to volts per meter, but I don't really want to get into that. Just know the electric field has units of volts per meter. And what's the other one? It's uh, something per coulomb. I can't freaking think. Oh, newtons per coulomb. Sorry, newtons per coulomb. Yeah. Okay, anyway. So that's basically all of part... A. Now part B, what would happen what would happen if uh what's this thing? 
if it's a very large distance. So we have our general equation. This is our general equation right here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so x is much greater than 1. That's pretty simple. What does it mean if x is much greater than 1? It essentially means the 1 is irrelevant. Right? So, for b... Um, actually, before I do that, let me... Notice that we can just factor the uh, 5 Newton Coulomb over 4 pi epsilon. I think it'll be easier to see if we look at it like this. That's just 1 squared, then you factor that, this is x squared, plus 1 over x minus 1 squared. Okay, so now you have that, it's the same problem. But notice, when this number becomes really large, this 1 doesn't mean shit, dude. Like, it, does, it won't do anything. So you could effectively remove all the 1s in this problem, because once this thing is, like if this thing was like 7,000, for example, because we're saying x is much, we're saying x is much greater than 1. Let's just say it's 7,000. I like that number. 7,000 to 7,001 doesn't really mean much. You know what I mean? And then 7,000 to 699 is not really going to mean much. Um, so you could basically remove those to make it a little more generalized. So then you will have e total I'm just removing this parentheses to make a difference. 1 plus x squared plus 1 plus x squared plus 1 plus x squared. So what do we notice? Well, we could just add these together. It's going to give us a 3 over x squared. And 3 times that would be 15. So you'd be left with like 15 over 4 pi epsilon naught x squared. So that would be your more generalized equation for x is much greater than 1. That's that's all of part b. You know, this problem's really simple if you, if you can break it down. And then now it wants to know what x equals 5 is using the approximation. So all you do now is plug in 5 using this equation instead of the equation above, and you will get a slightly different number. This will give you some number. I'm not going to do the math there. I can, I'll just look that up. What is it? Uh, 5.4. So what did we say? With this approximation, we have a 5.4. What did we have before 5.8? So you can see there's a bit of a difference, and that's because... Uh, Obviously, 5 is not a very large number. But if you're using very big numbers, it's not going to matter too much, you know? So, there you go. This is, uh, this is part C right here. All right, so that's the whole problem. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, you know, subscribe if you're, if you're enjoying this shit. I mean, I'm going to keep trying to make more. Cause it's actually helping me out a little bit. keeps my brain fresh, you know? But, uh, okay. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Actually, hold up. This is this is a four right here. I, I, yeah. I'm working quickly. I'm sorry about the guy in the back. Uh, I'm actually on my back porch right now. That guy doing some wood or something or whatever he's doing. But, yeah. Okay. Peace.